Now you're probably thinking, where's the hot picture I see in that thumbnail? We'll get to that, we'll get to that. What we're going to teach in this video is a how to tutorial, how to get the tight buns. Girls are always asking me, Harley, how did Freely get that tight ass she's got now? She used to have a fat, saggy bum. How'd you get the tight ass? How'd you go from pancake ass to sweet cheeks? What was the transformation? How long will it take? What did she eat? Blah, blah, blah. I've got some basic stuff down in the description below. What the lifestyle promotes, sleep, water, sugar, sufficient carbohydrate intake, training specifically, blah, blah, blah. Vegan, low fat, high carb, low protein, things like that. That's in the description below. Get to that when you can. But anyway, we'll get the start of this video. It was great having a partner that's done all what I've promoted and gotten the results. So let's get started with some photos to prove my point. In this photo here, we have three women and we have a anatomical chart which has the Gluteus maximus highlighted. Now that's the muscle we want to work. We want to work that muscle. We want to build that muscle so it's nice and perky. That's what the women are looking for, the perky butt. And we want to do it in a healthy fashion. We don't want to be using steroids or gimmicky things. We want to do health and fitness fundamentals, which I'll teach in my description as you read below. But anyway, so here we go. We've got the turtle on the top left, fit looking body. This girl is definitely a fit girl. Now all three of these girls have got fitness. All right, all three of these girls are going to be pretty good at running 200 meters to 1500 meters. They're going to be able to ride a bike up a hill pretty well out the saddle with cycling shoes. And then all three of them are going to be able to squat a decent amount of weight. Now, I'm assuming the girl in the middle, the girl, the number on the back, will be able to squat the most because she looks like she's the most serious athlete of the three. But all three will have a very high level of fitness, definitely 100%. All three of them are going to have a high level of fitness that would require at least two to three hours a week training. Definitely. So if you've got two to three hours a week training, then you can do this. And you've got to get caught in sucker scams and quick get fixed, quick, skimmy, scabby, you know, wushu, woo-woo, huckster, snake oil gimmicks. And if, if that's what you're into, this video is not for you. But if you're into serious benefits with health and fitness... And lifestyle fundamentals, keep watching, otherwise click off and go and watch some Kim Kardashian, you know, liposuction gimmick thingy, whatever. Anyway, so let's get to the next batch. So everybody knows what Freely eats. Freely eats like a low-fat, high-carb, vegan, fruit-focused, fruit, 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 fruit. Look at the, type in 50 bananas a day on YouTube and you'll see what comes up. So that's what she's been eating. And never, ever restrict carbohydrate calories, ever. Like this morning, I went out for a run. I did a 27K run this morning because I'm training up for a marathon. And uh, it's funny. I, the only reason I train is to get faster. <laughs> like, I don't have to train to stay lean because I just eat and stay lean. But if I want to get faster, I actually got to get outside and do the training. So I went out for a 27K easy jog. And it was raining. I said, if you're going to come out, she goes, I'm not going out in the rain. It's fucking raining. So I came back like three hours later. She's still in bed eating dates. She had a box of dates, just eating eating dates and on the internet. So it's quite hilarious. And uh, because that's the reality. She doesn't have the motivation anymore because she's got the body she wants. All you have to do now is just a bit of maintenance. Easy. She doesn't have to go out in there in the rain and run because she doesn't give a fuck about running a sub three hour marathon. Whatever. She's like, Pff, focus on five k's. Focus on four hundred meter sprints. Whatever. So one of the things we did to help Freely's butt tone up was to get her on the bicycle. We got a road bike, we got to properly fit it up by a really experienced bicycle fitter, and that was Steve Nash in South Australia. But you're probably not in South Australia watching this, so but anyway, if you are, go see Steve Nash at Corsa Cycles. Failing that, if you're living in New York City or Italy or whatever, I'm sure there's a good bike fitter that's local to you to fit you up. Make sure you get all your dimensions correct in the bike, so you get all your leg muscles activated, and that's the secret. If you want to build a nice... You want to build a nice tight ass, get on that bicycle, get your properly bike fitted up, and get the cycling shoes, the clip-in cycling shoes. That is one of the secrets. And you do some out the saddle efforts up climbs, you just dance in the pedals, and you just feel your the quads and your glutes just getting toned right up. So you combine a low-fat vegan lifestyle, high carb, unlimited calories so you can do the training without the saddle cycling up the hills and Man, you're going to get a tight ass like you never believed. So do you need to run marathons to get tight ass? No way. In fact, I would say the, the girls with the, you know, the aesthetic buttocks that most people admire would be the 800 meter runners to 5,000 meter. So I would say focus perhaps actually on the 800 meters. And try and get your time down under 2 minutes 30.
So that's not much at all, is it? That's that's not a lot of training to be a 230, 800-meter runner. That's fucking nothing. That's nothing at all to be a 230, 800-meter runner. That's not a lot of time commitment there. And once you're there, you just do a bit of maintenance. So if you want those tight buns that all those girls have got, you got to get as fast as them or as strong as them. Now, a lot of people go, oh, no, I don't have the time. It's like, well, I can't fucking help you then, can I? So that's just where it's at. You can go, well, I'm just going to starve myself, you know, because I don't want to, I don't want to, like, exercise. I don't want to do sport. I don't want to sweat. I don't want to get fit. I don't have to lift things. I know my grandma says that uh, women should never sweat. For women to sweat is vulgar. It's disgusting. <laughs> so I say that's just really a limited thinking. Get out there and sweat. Not inside doing bloody Bikram yoga, breathing in everyone else's farts and all that nonsense. Get outside in the fresh air. Join up a local running group. And hey, you might be obese at 500 pounds or whatever, man. Just got to start today. Get out there. Get amongst it. Get a coach. Get the best coach you can find and just commit your life to action. Now, people go, well, I can just starve. Well, I'll tell you what happens when you starve. Now, look at this picture here. So this girl here is this skinny fat, you know, starved. This is what happens. You might be able to eat well or whatever and get skinny, but if you don't do the training, if you don't get those glutes pumped up, this is what you're going to look like. This is what you're going to look like. You're just going to have a pancake ass. Now, this girl here, she's obviously doing some squats in the gym, and she's obviously doing some running there. And uh, so that's that's a reality, you know. That's that's, an, that's not a very hard physique to get, you know. We're not talking super cut and lean and crazy low body fat. We're just talking toned and tight. We're not talking anything extreme here at all. We're talking a balanced, easy-to-maintain physique with healthy eating and no drugs, no starvation. Here we have uh, Anna Kornikova again. A slim girl, but uh, toned, tight butts. And now if we compare her to the other girl, we can see that Anna and this girl have similar proportions, but uh, I'll let you decide which one's probably more pleasing to the eye. Which one is more closer, closely aligned to what your goal is? The Anna Kornikova or the, uh, the skinny fat pancake bum? I don't know about you, but I think I'll go with the Anna. I'll have an Anna on, Anna on the side, please. So again, it's not about you know putting anyone down or saying because you don't look like this, you should feel guilty, whatever. I'm just saying I'm answering a question. Someone's asking me how do I get the toned ass. I'm just going to be honest and straight up put it out there. This is how you do it, girls. And uh, there's no shortcuts. There's no shortcuts at all. So that's just how it is. You can starve yourself. And that's just not going to work, though, because you, if you starve, you won't be able to train and you'll just lose muscle, you'll lose fitness, you'll be a nut job to be in. Now, here's another girl, a slim girl, but you notice how she's got a lot of muscle tone. To get muscle tone, you got to have fitness. you got to have fitness. Now, again, we have the uh, the skinny fat girl alongside her, just to demonstrate that. So you, know, so you, you can't starve yourself. I'm sorry, you can't starve yourself. You won't maintain it. If you starve yourself, you'll just fuck up. And people go, oh, I just... I'll just like, you know, I'll stop eating then and, and, and just become like an anorexia clock, this person here. And I'll tell you what, man, that's that's a dangerous road to go down. I'm not sure if that's very aesthetically pleasing, you know, but we'll, we'll go to the next one here. So we've got another girl here. I think it's Sophie Turner. Again, demonstrating the gluteal muscle development. That girl, this girl here, I think it's Sophie Turner, I don't know who it is, but 100% she is in the gym. She can squat a good amount of weight. And if you put her on the track, I guarantee she's going to be able to run a decent 800. A decent 800, definitely. So, And she's got the glutes to, to show for it. And here we have another celebrity butt cheek. I'm not sure who this one belongs to. But again, you can see the skinny fat syndrome. So this person has the same dimensions as Sophie, Sophie Turner and Freely now. But you can see, that's just the starved ass. That's the starved ass. That's the... You know, I don't train ass. That's the pancake ass. That's the I don't train ass. That's the I don't have any fitness whatsoever. That's the I haven't sweated my lymphatic system via a run or heavy lifting for, you know, 10 years. And here we have another celebrity from the behind. Again, just that classical sedentary skinny fat body. So you can eat well and get slim, but if you don't tone the glutes, you're going to have a pancake ass like this person. And again, it doesn't make him a bad person. I'm just saying that people have certain goals and that's what they want. So I'm telling them how to get it. 
Now here we have Victoria Beckham again, not, nothing personal against Victoria. I think she's a nice girl. I'm just using her as an aesthetic, which is sort of unfair because she's in a in the spotlight, but she puts herself out there. So we'll critique her and uh, you can see again, just no butt cheeks, no tone there. So Victoria Beckham, I'd put money on it that she couldn't run a fast 800 and she couldn't squat uh, much weight at all because if she could, she'd have a gluteal development there. So, so what we see with Victoria there, we have the gluteal muscle atrophy, the muscle wastage. So we want to have that muscle hypertrophy by doing the, the, the activities, you know, we, we're doing the squats. And here's another perky bum. And if you want to look good in jeans, man, you've got to get those muscles, the gluteal muscle, as simple as that. Build the muscle. You want to build the muscle and you want to lose the ass fat by going on the low-fat, high-carb, plant-based, vegan lifestyle that's healthy, nutritious, satiating, and you don't want to restrict your calories. You want to eat enough calories so you can train because if you don't eat enough calories, then what happens to your, your glutes is you look like this. You get the skinny fat syndrome again. And this is another hot, famous Hollywood celebrity. Let's see if you can guess. Post your comments down below. Who, whose butt does this belong to? Again, this is the skinny fat. Let's just smoke some cigarettes. Let's just drink some margaritas. And let's laugh at all the silly people who are sweating and running in the sun. Let's just laugh at them and we'll have the, the flobby pancake butt. So that's the secret there. Um, another photo here. Again, 100%. This girl in the little pink pants is, uh, it's like she's wearing some Nike Pegasus there. Again, 100%, she's gonna be a decent 800 meter runner, she's gonna be able to squat a decent amount of weight, and she's gonna be able to ride a bike up a hill in a decent amount of time. And I think the last photo here is gain. You know, Duran Riders pick, this girl here, works the ass muscle. You know, you're not just born with that. <laughs> People go, oh, she's lucky, she's got genetics. I'll tell you what, mate, she's out there. When you're sitting on your ass feeling sorry for yourself, she's out there, she's squatting, she's probably got a squat rack at home, she's running, she's probably, a, you know, ex 800 meter collegiate champion or something like that, but she's still eating well, doing the training, you know what I mean? You gotta do the training, you gotta eat enough carbohydrates so you can do the training, so you can t train at the intensity to build that sort of glute muscle. You gotta do that because, I'll tell you what man, if you don't eat enough carbohydrate calories, you're not gonna be able to train at the intensity that's gonna build that gluteal muscle. It's simple as that, simple as that girls. So there you go, I hope that's answered the questions and that the best activities are, like I say, is the 800 meter, get your time down, it's the stair running, like Freely does a bit of stair running occasionally, a few times a year. The 800 meter, Freely's, Freely's uh, pretty quick. We're going to do some, some PBs this week on the 800s. So don't worry about doing the marathons and the ultras. I mean, they're good if you want to do them, but focus on the speed, the uh, 800s to 5,000 meter. Start with 800 meter. Start getting your time down under 330. Just keep chipping seconds off that, and then you can progress over the years. But that's simple as that, man. Toned glutes, easy, man. Weight loss transformations, Whatever, this is it, rules apply to all. Healthy body is a fit body, and if your ass looks like a pancake, I'm sorry, but you're not healthy and you're not getting the most out of your life. So, thanks for watching. Post your comments and questions down below. Don't forget to hit the uh, button up there that says join the cult, join the cult of the tight ass crew, and uh, have fun, have a good day, and we'll see you again. Peace. Anyway, seriously. So again, not to make fun of anyone or whatever, but I want to really drive home the message of the importance of fitness. If you want to be healthy, you've got to be fit. And a lot of people out there use drugs and stimulants to be fit, but eventually they do that crash and burn cycle. I know plenty of girls out there have got to develop a great body from just that drug, 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 you know, lifestyle, do the drugs, do the training, but eventually you're going to crash out. It's going to, you're going to fail epically. So you always want to stay away from the stimulants. You want to encompass health and fitness fundamentals, the early nights, the sleep, water, sugar, the guidelines I've set down below. Get those carbohydrates in so you can train consistently for the rest of your life. So you'll be that 70, 80-year-old, even 90-year-old lady who's walking down the street and people go, wow, man, she looks really fit. She looks really good in leggings or whatever. You know, like, you just be like, what? People would just be, what the fuck? Like, you know, I've got a friend who's like 70 plus and she's got a great physique. She's danced and has fun. She doesn't exercise, she just has fun. She'll get on a bike and she'll ride up the hill and she'll breathe and stuff like that. She ain't scared to sweat. You won't see her in a Bikram yoga class. You'll see her out there in adventure running or doing a sprint laps around a lap or whatever or you know, going for a ride up the hill, dancing the pedals. So it's all about 
it's not about your age or your time or whatever because to be a good 800 meter runner or whatever you don't need a lot of time it's not you you you're training up for a 24 hour running race and i'll tell you what you can run 100 k's and still have a pancake butt but there's no way on earth you can run a, a sub three minute or a sub 230 800 relative to your age level and have a, a, a pancake bum. Not just impossible, impossible. So I've got a lot of friends out there who eat healthy and they're saying, Harley, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm slim, but where's this fabulous ass you promised me? I'm like, well, you weren't listening, you weren't paying attention. You got to train the ass. Nothing, no food on the earth builds muscle. Training is what builds muscle. Training builds the muscle, yeah? Otherwise, all the people guzzling protein shakes and, you know, protein. This is what you look like if you just guzzle fat and protein. This is the paleo primal diet example. This is this is where it's at. And all these people out there, you know, doing steroids and training, and then they go, oh, it's because I eat fried chicken. That's why I've got the... So, no, it's not. It's the training. The training builds the results. And the reason why I promote high-carb, low-fat, plant-based lifestyle is that promotes athletic excellence at the best level, the most natural level, the most sustainable tasty, satisfying level. All these people in these primal paleo diets are constantly binging on ice cream and I'm going to tell you a lot of stories about that. A lot more, all the paleo primal authors out there just binging on the ice cream, just getting it in because they're just so carbohydrate starved and you don't want to go down that path, binge purge. You want to eat healthy and have a balanced, active lifestyle where you're not afraid to sweat, where you're not afraid to walk to the airport, you're not afraid to run up the stairs, you're not afraid to chase your kid around to the park, and you're not afraid to ride your bike up that mountain that you've always wanted to do. You're not afraid of those things. So there's no shortcuts. It's hard work. You're going to sweat. And get out of this mentality that you can do Bikram yoga to build a good ass. You can't build an ass doing yoga. You've got to do like... You know, I've got plenty of yoga instructor friends who've got pancake asses. But I'll tell you what, 100% of my runner girlfriends who can run 800 fast have got the, the ass, man. They've got the aesthetic ass. They could be ass models. 100%. So I like to promote activities that give the 100% results 100% of the time. The 800 meter, man, that's the, that's the secret, the cycling in the hills. But the 800 meter would be the, the best one. Combine that with cycling in the hills or cycling to the shops in the cycling pedal shoes. Well, here they are. You need to clip in. When you clip in, you activate more musculature in your leg and you can tone that leg up and build that sexy te- leg we're looking for. The 800 meter, the cycling in the cycling shoes up the hills or to the shops, and the squats. Learn squat technique before you snap your back. You know, don't just train with no weights first. Get that technique down. Get a friend to help you with your, um, your spotting, your form there, build your squat form. Plenty of YouTube videos on that, I don't know do one of that. So squats, 800 meter, get your time down, and the cycling, and you'll be fucking loving it, okay? Just start today, because it's going to take some time. How long is it going to take? How long is a piece of string? I don't know how much you weigh, I don't know how fit you are, I don't know, you know what you had before, it's like, you know, how, how tasty is a cockroach? Let's try out. Whoa! <laughs> so you want to just get started today, that's just it. Post your comments and questions down below. Thanks for watching. It's been a long video, but hey, this is the most comprehensive video on YouTube on this subject, and I thought I just got to put it out there because there's so much misinformation. I want to clarify it, provide you with objective data and objective examples of what I'm talking about. Enough raving. Peace. See you soon. Share this video. Give it a thumbs up if you like a tight ass, and uh, that's it.